New at four, thieves looking for pricey hair extensions have hit a Gwinnett County business more than a dozen times since they opened. Channel 2's Carrie Kavanaugh talked to the store manager who says shoplifters are finding interesting places to hide their loot. Hair extensions like this can range from $20 to $200, and they're a hot item for thieves. That's why this local store has 16 security cameras. Despite all of that, shoplifters are still costing them big. This is 100% real human hair. From weaves to wigs, the hair industry is booming, and so is the number of people trying to steal the pricey extensions. People, they think it's a free-for-all. Manager they John O says Top Beauty Supply on Grayson Highway in Lawrenceville has been struck by thieves at least 15 times in 18 months. We have to watch everybody, you know, boy, girl, you know, you know, grandma. O included grandma after he saw this surveillance video watches a woman with a cane, takes a package of hair, and quickly shoves it under her skirt and walks off. Oh, I would have never suspected her as a shoplifter. I mean, that's, you know, that you see an old lady with the cane, you know, it's like, I would have, try to help her. Another day, security cameras caught this woman packing hair into her purse, but O says they were hardest hit on Christmas Eve. He says that night, two women came in posing as customers. O believes one attempted to distract the manager, while the other grabbed seven bags of hair worth $35 each. O says that woman hid while she removed the hair from the packages. By the time an employee spotted the empty plastic, the women were gone. If somebody doesn't get caught, they're going to think they're going to they're do, do it again. So, I mean, that hurts us. Police have issued an arrest warrant for 18-year-old Latanya Nelson of Duluth for shoplifting. But it's unclear from the warrant the exact role she played. We have a call into Lawrenceville Police about when the alleged accomplice will be charged. Despite the shoplifting, the managers here say they're lucky they haven't been the victim of something more violent like an armed robbery, which has been happening a lot across Metro Atlanta. In Lawrenceville, Carrie Cavanaugh, Channel 2 Action News.